So why read Murakami? Because Haruki Murakami is not only my favorite writer, and I recommend him to everybody, but he has a lot to offer. Uh, I mean, you know, he, he writes interesting and compelling characters, he writes very unique and dreamlike type stories, uh, he writes very <clears throat> unexpected narratives that take interesting twists and turns, he writes about relationships between people very well and very realistically, and he kind of grounds these more kind of like uh, strange surrealist, almost magical realist type tales with very human behavior and very human kind of action. Uh, a lot of his protagonists, especially in his earlier stuff, is uh, are very kind of like 30 year old guys who typically are nameless in the narrative and they have kind of very humdrum and different uh, personality. They have kind of a very relaxed, uh, lackadaisical view of everything and kind of just go with the flow. And that kind of protagonist is actually a lot like how I am, so I can relate to that. Um, and not only that, just the stories themselves. When you when you really look at the kind of stuff he does, he he writes very interesting uh, narratives themselves. The Wind Up Bird Chronicle is perhaps probably my favorite uh, novel of his, and it's hard to describe. There's so much going on. There's a lot of like different types of stories and a lot of influences coming together for this. It's it's part uh, <clears throat> part magical realism. It's part uh, kind of a dissection of a marriage. It's kind of, it's part historical novel. There's a lot of things going on. There's kooky characters, and and all of this forms like a whole overarching related whole. While well, these separate threads are all going on, and it all starts when the protagonist is looking for his cat who has gone missing, and from there his uh, he meets a girl who is in high school and, it, and who's obsessed with death. He gets letters from an old, uh, I think, lieutenant in the Russo-Japanese War. Um, his wife leaves abruptly and without any explanation. Uh, he starts, like, going, he goes down like a well in the neighborhood that all ties into, like, the flow of water being, containing, like, the flow of everything going on in his life. And it's all very metaphorical, but it's also all happening literally in the text. Uh, it's very strange. Uh, a lot of people like uh, start with this novel. Um, I, I think it's a good introduction if you are interested in the more stranger real, uh, surrealist aspects of his writing. This is a good one to go to, but it's probably also his most challenging and difficult work. Uh, and then there's the other side of our comedy with books like Norwegian Wood. Uh, and This one is completely realistic. This is just a story about a guy who's reflecting on his uh, early 20s when he was in college and how he his best friend dies and he starts hanging out with his best friend's girlfriend from high school and they form a relationship and she is going through a lot of her own problems and her internal struggles and she ends up in a mental institute and it's kind of just how he's just navigating his early 20s and his relationships with her and his feelings about his best friend dying and uh, and it's it sounds kind of mundane on paper but there's more to it than that and there's a lot of interesting uh, turns this novel goes in but uh, this is a different side of Murakami this is very just straightforward realism uh, he wrote another novel uh, similar to this, and how it's just a completely a realistic story without any of the magic realism, Col uh, called Colorless Sukuru Suzaki and His Years of Pilgrimage, which is also a very fine novel, and I recommend it. Uh, and then another great one that's more in the realistic camp is South of the Border, West of the Sun. This is a very good one also if you're trying to get into his work because it's very short, it's very straightforward, and its characters are just as compelling and interesting, and it also documents a very unusual but interesting relationship. So, I mean, that's just one of many reasons I'd recommend Murakami, but there we go. <laughs>